yeah welcome back to our channel this is the ultimate sound school today we'll be teaching how to play all the 12 keys yes all the 12 keys in the space of 10 minutes as a beginner's level so how do we play these 12 keys all together at a spot some might say it is easy some might also find it difficult the reason why people actually also find playing all keys difficult is because they lack how to count the keys by itself and how to align the keys the sofas and the degrees together if i say degree degrees the numbers that is the one and the two and the rest so the sofas is the doremi and the same as the keys as we know c and the rest so let's start from c yes most of the people have been asking me how to play these keys and how to become like a professional so let's start with c so our c this is the one this is the one by the way i'm using m audio this is the one so this is the c sharp this is the d this is the e flat and the e and the f and the f sharp g g sharp a b flat b and the c again so let's start with the c so as it is this is the one and we have another one here so if this is one same as it follows two same as it follows three four five six seven and the c again one let me repeat it once more so we have the one we have the two we have the three, we have the four, and the five, and the six, and the seventh, and the one again. So now let's add the one and three together. So forming the courses now, what you just placed, played is the notes. So we are forming a chord now. So let's join the one and the three together and let's see. So one on the left. One and three on the right, so one and three, two and four. Hope you understand this method. So it's very, very cheap. So we have the one, one and three, two and four, and the three and five, and the four and six. Yes, and the four and six. So four and six then we have the five and seven and the six and one and the seven and two and the one and three again so let's go back again so as i said we have the one and two one and three rather sorry two and four three and five four and six then we have the five and seven so from here we go to the six, six and one, seven and two, one and three again. I believe you do understand. So now let's join the fifth note attached to the one and three. So what will be our fifth note? That is the so so we have the one, two, and the five. So we have the one, three, five. So so one, three, five, like this. We have the two, four, then you add a six. Then we have the three and the five, then you have the seven. So you join them together. Then we have the four and six, then you add a one. So like this, then you come and join the five and the seven, and you add a two together. Then we have the six, that is the six and one, then you add a three together. Then same as we have the seven and two, seven and two. So you, all you have to do is add a fourth to the seven and two. Then you come back to your one, three and the five. So all what we just played is the do re mi of C. That's all. So these are the primary courses of the do re mi, and to learn the C sharp, the same method. So this is the C sharp. This is the one. And the two 
So the C sharp as one, the E flat as two, the F as three, and the F sharp as four, and the G sharp or the E flat as five, and the B flat as six, and the C as seven, and the C sharp as one. As we played on C, we add the one and three, two and four, three and five, four and six, and we play the five and seven, six and one, seven and two, and a one and three again. So keep on applying this method. You can play all the keys. So if you go to the D as well, we have the one, D as one, E as two, F sharp as three, G as four, A as five, B as six, C sharp as seven, and the D again as one. So try to apply this method. So I'm now showing you the roots, the grass roots of each key. So as we did on C and the C sharp, all you have to do is apply the one and three, apply the two and four, then you apply the three and five, then you apply the five and six, as continuous like that. Yeah. So as we did on C and C sharp, all you have to do is you just apply the one and three, the two and four, and the three and five, and the four and six, and the five and seven, and the six, and the one, then the seven and the two, and the one and three again, as we did on C and C sharp. So the same way, if you go to E flat, this is our E flat as one, the F per se as two, the G per se as three, there's G sharp per se as four, the B flat itself as five, and the C as six, and the D as seven, and the E flat again as our one. So the same method we did as we added one and three, and the two and the four, and the three and the five, and the five, sorry, and the three and the five, and the four and the six. And we had the five and the seven, the six and one, the seven and two, and the one and three again. So as it follows like that, same as I'm just showing the grass root of each key. So if you apply what you did on the C, and the C sharp, you just applied the numbers, add them together. You will find yourself playing all these keys. So I'm to show you the grass root. So we are on the E. So E itself as one, F sharp as two, G sharp as three, A as four, and the B as five, and the C sharp as six, E flat as seven, and the E again as one. So let's keep on practicing as that. F is the most cheapest key, but it's not the cheap. So we have the F as one, G as two, A as three, B flat as four, C as our five, D as our six, E as the seven, and the F as one again. So as the method is apply the one and three. Keep on applying the one and three and the two and four this three and five four and six five and seven two and we have the six and the one then we have the seven and the two then we have the one and three again as it follows so if you go to the f sharp this is our f sharp f sharp as one g sharp as two b flat as three B as four, C sharp as five, then the E flat as our six, and the F as the seven, and the F sharp again as one. So if you go to the chain two, we have the chain itself as one, then we have the A as two, B as three, C as four, D as five, E as six. F sharp as seven, and we have the G back again as our one. Then we go to the G sharp. The G sharp itself as our one, B flat as our two, C as our three, C sharp as our four, E flat as our five, 
F as the C's, G as the seventh, and the J sharp again as the one. So don't forget actually to apply those. <coughs> don't forget to actually apply those numbers as the one and three, those method. Yes, keep on applying it. So we are on the key of A. So this is the A, A itself as one, B as two, C sharp as three, the D as the fourth, the E as the fifth note, and the F sharp as the seventh, sorry, the C note, the J sharp as the seventh, and the A back again as our one. And we have the B flat. So the B flat as one, the C as two, D as three, E flat as four, F as five, then the J as our C note, the A as the seventh, and the B flat again as. So if same as we have the B, the B, we have the B to be B as our one. The same thing here is the same thing, just the octave matters. So the B as our one. So B as one, C sharp as two, E flat as three, and the E as four, F sharp as five, J sharp as six, B flat as seven, and the B again. So all you have to do is just apply the numbers, the one and three, and the two and the four, keep on adding them. By the time you realize, you'll be playing all the notes on each key. Yes, so don't forget to subscribe to the Ultimate Sound School. We do also have the one-on-one -on -one class as you call via our Google meeting call. So that one to we do, I will post the link so attached to this video. So in case of you want to contact or you want a one-on-one -on -one class with us, then you put a call through, then we will start teaching, we start teaching then. We know how we do best we can teach. Thank you. Subscribe to the video, like and share, comment and let me know where you do understand, where you don't understand. Thank you.